How's it going guys? It's your favorite entrepreneur, Elder Tony Williams. I'm a real estate investor, real estate agent, and I post content weekly here on the channel. If it's your first time, welcome. I highly recommend you go to the beginning of the channel, watch every single video from beginning to end because each video gives you a little bit of knowledge on investing, business, and finance. And with that, Let's get into the video. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you on how to save money like a millionaire. Now, I'm not a millionaire yet, yet, but I do know a lot of millionaires that have followed these steps to be able to make it to millionaire status, and that's what I want for you. So pay attention, stay all the way to the end of the video, and I promise if you implement these steps, you're gonna see beautiful results in the end. So one of the first steps you can do is to cut back on dining out. You don't understand how expensive it is to actually dine out. And this was a major help for me, you know, by cutting back on my expenses, I was able to put more money into savings, able to put more money into investing. And and also we're, we're inside a pandemic now, so it should be really, really easy not to spend a lot of money on dining out. I mean, use that money to be able to buy healthier foods. I started doing a lot of shopping on Whole Foods and all the foods I got off Whole Foods, I was able to get like, I, before this pandemic, I almost did not know how to cook. But during the pandemic, I taught myself how to cook up crazy foods. I'm making lobster, I'm making steaks. I, I'm doing some crazy stuff all from watching YouTube videos. But do not dine out. Save as much money as you can by staying home and then cooking the food yourself. This is another step that a lot of millionaires use that's to save up money. Now, another step that I implemented ever since I started actually eating at home is I started planning meals out by the month. So what I'll do is figure out what I'm gonna eat for that entire month, mark it down by the day, I'm extremely analytical, mark it down by the day to see what I'm gonna eat Monday through Friday, what I'm gonna eat at work, what I'm gonna eat on the weekends. Uh, I mean, sometimes on weekends, I do go out with friends, so you know those can be up in the air, but you wanna plan your meals out for the entire month. That way you know exactly how much you're spending, and at the beginning of the month, you can actually budget that in, buy everything at once, and you can even meal prep if you wanna get advanced for the future. So if you wanna meal prep on Monday, that way you will have meals all the way out for that whole week. And you do that four times every Monday, make sure you're all meal prepped up. So the next one is gonna roll into the last ones we were talking about as well. I know it's, it's trust me, it's not all about food. The next one is gonna be pack your lunch to work. Honestly, before I even started budgeting and looking at how much I was spending, I was spending about eight to $12 per day on lunch. Uh, I work at a dealership and my dealership was right next to a Wink and Lizard. So almost every single day I go to Wink and Lizard, get some wings, or I'll go down the street to Piata. I mean, I was hitting every wet restaurant in the area and I was spending literally eight to $12 per day. And if you calculate that up on how much I save by actually making my own food, that's why I'm like stressing this out. I can save, I save so much more money and then that money went right back into investments and that's what I want for you. Now the next one is gonna be tough because I know some of you people already do have this, but the next one is don't have a car payment. You don't understand how much you spend per month, not only on the car payment, but on the interest, and then you still have to pay for insurance. You still have to pay for repairs. This is coming from a car guy that if you wanna become a millionaire, you should not have a car payment, at least until you make your first million. And this is something Dave Ramsey preaches as well, and I've studied his books, I've learned everything he has to teach, and I believe this is a step a lot of people need to take because I can't tell you how many people I've seen actually come into the dealership and they're paying 20 to 25 percent interest on a vehicle and they're financing it for 72 months oh my god just to think about it is is just so crazy but if you want to become millionaire status you have to ditch the car payment you have to drive a bucket you have to not care what people think about you I was driving a bucket. I was driving 08 Kia Optima. You have to drive a bucket in order to make it to millionaire status. 
please believe me with this one this is one of the biggest ones inside of this and inside of this whole video if you currently have a car payment what you want to do is possibly if you're if you're not close to paying that car payment off you probably want to sell it and just downgrade to a bucket take it in the kelly blue book they'll buy your car from you pay it off and just downgrade to a bucket and drive that bucket because that three to five hundred dollars you're spending every month you can be dumping that into investments and imagine what you can do with that money in seven years. You can purchase your first rental property, which I did make videos about purchasing your first rental property, so make sure you subscribe. I actually teach you how to do it with business credit as well. So make sure you subscribe down below for that video, scroll through the channel, and look on how I did it myself with using business credit to actually purchase my first rental property. Now the next one would be tough as well. It's gonna be to make more income. Now I know a lot of you are working jobs that you can't actually control how much money you have coming in. Luckily for me, I was in car sales, so all I had to do was make more dials, make more calls, get in front of more people, and I was able to increase my income. If that's not the case from you, uh, you need to figure out what you can do to build up your skills. I mean, even going to sales, because that's a great thing. If you go into sales, you can actually control your income even more. So find something like car sales, real estate sales, anything like that that you can jump into to be able to control your own income because you really need to increase your income. It's gonna be hard to become a millionaire if you're only making $20,000 a year. If you're only making $30,000 a year, you really wanna ramp that up and try to get to six figures as quick as possible. I mean, it's gonna be extremely hard, but even if you have to go back to school, I mean, I really don't believe in going like to college or anything like that. I believe you can just jump right online and find any skill that you want. I mean, even like you jump into something like coding to where you can try to jump in, learn something, get a job and try to make six figures as quick as possible. So you can put a lot of that in the savings and paying off debt. Now the last one, now this is the one you've been waiting for. This is the one that it takes to make most millionaires. And you know what that is? Starting a business. This is what's going to get you to the next level in income. If you can't find a sales job or join a, another company that uh, increase your income and pay you what you're actually worth, you need to start a business. I don't care if you even have a job right now that you love with all your heart. Start a business because you never know what's going to happen to that job. And we've learned that from this pandemic. You can be working one day and the next day you're fired. But in your business, you can't fire yourself. Yes, sales may go down, but you can pivot and find different ways to increase your income. So if you really want to make it to millionaire status, you need to start a business. And the reason we're starting a business is because of the tax write-offs. When it comes down to working for someone else, the government taxes you before you even get your money. But if you own a business, you earn your money, you write off all your expenses that come with owning that business and what's ever left over, that's what you're taxed on. And some of the real pros know how to do it to where they write off so much. If you hire a good, good CPA, they write off so much that you absolutely pay zero taxes. Now that is the way America is built and then that's what I want for you. If you like the video, make sure you hit like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching to the end. It's only a very few people that's able to make it to the end of a video that shows something different in you. Also, please go down below, subscribe. Every video on this channel is gonna benefit you in investing business and finance. So if that's what you like, keep watching. Peace.